but I do thank God for being here. Amen. And it's a good thing to be in the house of God. You know, I'm going to say something is that when God really calls somebody, they have a zeal that is according to knowledge to do the will of God. I say it again. When a person is called by God, they have a zeal that's according to knowledge. And what I mean by according to knowledge, they have a passion that is according to the word of God to get the job done. You know, I've been noticing a whole lot of people and a whole lot of folks um, will say, uh, I, uh, I, I, God called me to do this. God called me to do that. I got a calling from God to do this, and God told me to do that. And then they get up on a pulpit or they get up to preach. They sound terrible. <laughs> Don't know the word of God. Grabbing their ear. Grunting, moaning. Smacking their lips. Don't know what they talking about. Hey, Amen. Go ahead, give chapter and verse where we at. Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. Romans chapter 10 and verse 2. And the Bible says, For I bear the record that they have a zeal of God. I bear them record. Give me verse 1. And the Bible says, Brethren, my heart's desire. Brethren, my heart's desire. And prayer. And prayer. To God for Israel is uh -huh. that they might be saved. You hear that? God, you hear through the Apostle Paul, wants Israel, God's people, to be saved. See, a lot of people say, I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I'm baptized. But they save, and it's not according to knowledge. Amen. 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 We know some folks just like that. So sanctified that when they go to Walmart, they want to lay hands on everybody. Amen. See, I, I said this. If you lay hands on somebody without the anointing, you sexually harassing them. Bible says it's not good for a man to even touch a woman. Amen. And you got women and men that's laying hands on random folks, and then they say, I'm saving souls. You ain't saving nobody. Amen. You ain't saving nobody. I'm just being honest. The Apostle Paul says what? Uh -huh. That they might be saved. No, I'm going to save them. That they might be saved. No, I'm going to make a way for them to come out. That they might be saved. You see how much knowledge and understanding the apostle had? Amen. He's praying that God does the saving unto them. Amen. But before a soul gets saved, God has to open up their understanding. And they must have a sincere heart and a willing mind to turn from their mess. Amen. 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 Hey, man, I'm just being honest. Amen. I don't care. See, people think they can say some magic words and a person come out they dirt. No, it doesn't work like Amen. that. If Amen. God anointing ain't back in it, they ain't coming out that mess. Amen. You know, people say, oh, uh, repeat after me. Uh, I believe Jesus Christ have died for my sins. I believe he rose on the third day. Then they say, brother, you're saved. Hey, Amen. You're Amen. saved. Amen. Go on with your way. You're saved. That brother ain't more saved than two left shoes. Amen. Amen. He ain't saved at all. Well, preacher, the Bible says, uh, ye shall be saved. It said shall. Amen. There's more work that got to be done. Amen. Because the Bible also says that baptism now shall save us. Amen. Amen. So that means there's more work that has to be done. There's a belief that the human family must have. And it has to be the belief that God has. Amen. And as it's a belief, there's an action that's tied to that belief. And as his action tied to that belief, once the human family or once the individual fulfill that action that's tied to that belief, then they are saved. But if they don't fulfill that action that's tied behind that belief, they ain't saved at all. Amen. Folks say, I believe in God. And the devil look at him and says, I believe too. <laughs> I believe too, brother. Well, well, well I believe John 3.16, the devil. I believe John 3.16 too. I, I believe Philippians 4 and 13. I believe in that too. You know, he that believing. I believe John 6, 47. Devil, I believe that too. What makes you different from the devil? Amen. Apostle said, my desire that, amen, and prayer that Israel may be saved. Amen. That's my prayer. My prayer is that the whole world will be saved. Amen. Not to save this artificial saving. When folks just believe, they don't change themselves. You got these crooked preachers and ministers. 
think they can talk crazy to people and think that, oh, well, people just going to have to just deal with the way I talk and then still say they saved. You ain't saved at all. Amen. Your religion is made worthless if you don't know how to control your tongue. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And the Bible says, come on. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. I bear them record they have a zeal of God, but. But not according to knowledge. They got a passion of God, but not according to knowledge. Hold it. You see that now with people. Say they got a passion of God and they ain't according to no knowledge. Well, I want to do the will of God. And the first thing they say, I want to pass turkeys out to the poor. And then they say, I'm doing the will of God. No, you ain't. Amen. God wants your soul saved before you pass on any turkey. Amen. God wants your soul saved before you go buy cars and give it away. God wants your soul saved before you make sandwiches in the back of the church. God wants your soul saved and you filled with the Holy Ghost before you do anything. I don't care if you're sweeping a flow. You better make sure you tarry for that Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Well, he told the apostles, wait until Jerusalem. Before you do anything, wait and tarry here until you get filled with power among God. I'm sick of these folks nowadays want to say, I, uh, oh, I believe in God. I'm going to go to Africa and then say, I'm going to die in the name of the Lord. You deceived by the devil. You ain't no witness of God. God, no Holy Ghost. Don't speak in tongues. Don't do nothing. And then they want to say, we are we, we Christians. We we Christians. We uh, 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 we we men of God because we go to Africa to do mission trips. We ain't doing nothing. It's nothing but a field trip. <laughs> nothing but a field trip. Amen. When you sign a permission slip to allow your kid to go somewhere, that's what you're doing. You get your mom and your daddy, and they sign you a, a permission slip so you can go to Africa and hand out, uh, not even hand out, exchange goods. Amen. 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 You don't got no anointing. They, you go to Africa. They, you get malaria, and then you exchange. They give you malaria, and you exchange it with cookies and cakes and chickens. Preacher, why are you saying that? That's so harsh. It's true. Amen. The Bible says, he that believe it and is baptized, they shall drink daily poison. It shall not kill them. Amen. Now, in other words, is they shall go to places where death will try to overtake them, such as poison. And by the power of the Holy Ghost that's in them, the Holy Ghost will say, mm-mm, it ain't their time yet. Amen. I don't care if daily poison hit their veins, they ain't dying yet. I don't care if a bullet passed by, God will make it so that their shoulders will start hurting it and they will dodge the bullet. Why? Because the Holy Ghost set them apart for a mission. Amen. And it don't matter what death, God, amen. It don't matter what time that death tries to encape you in. If the Holy Ghost is involved, it ain't going to work. Amen. But the Bible says that Jesus Christ had the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Amen. When Jesus Christ said, no, it ain't going to happen. Amen. I don't care if a car hits you. And knock that preacher over. If he's doing the will of God and God say no, that preacher going to rise back up and keep preaching the word of God. Amen. No bones in his body may break. Nothing may go on. He will rise back a while because Jesus said no. When the apostle Paul got built by a viper and bit him on the hand, the Bible said he shook the viper off and it fell into the fire. And the poison of the snake did not kill Paul. Amen. Amen. Why? Because the Holy Ghost said it ain't his time yet. Amen. Is that right? Is that right? Amen. For wicked folks, God will speed up death. But for righteous folks, God will slow it down Amen. and say, I, it's not this time yet. Hallelujah. My desire and prayer that Israel, what? Might be saved. Might be saved. My brothers and my sisters live for a purpose. Live for a purpose so God can use you, like I seen that song. Anywhere and anytime. Hallelujah. That's the problem with today, people, and to, uh, what people be doing today. They live without a purpose. I want to get the new nails. I want to get the new jewelry. I want to listen to the new rock song by Megan the Stallion. I want to listen to Cardi B and Sexy Red and, 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 and Blue Face and all these crooked, nasty rappers out there. I, I want to listen to them. Why about you get saved first? Amen. Get the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't care who Megan the Stallion thinks she is. Talk about women. Uh, my, 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 my um, brother Rashad was saying about it. She said that uh, uh, Megan was saying uh, uh, that uh, we don't need these men. We just have them. Is that right? Something like that. We just want them. We just want them. That's what they teach you nowadays. That's a lie from the pits of hell. We don't need no man. She don't know what she's talking about. Last time I checked, I bet her producer's a man. And if he don't sign that check, she crying. Amen. I'm just being honest. 
Just being honest. Y'all want to bump these rap songs and listen to these crooked old people. But yet, when it's time to get saved by God, that's greater than a man. You want to, I can't do it, preacher. Amen. Paul said, my desire that what? My heart, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. When you got a man of God, that's the desire. That was in his heart. He had a loving heart. See, a lot of things when Paul was traveling, there was love in his heart. That God has put up in there, that the people of God would get the understanding of how to be saved. Amen. That's why the gospel is called the good news. It was spreading the good news that you could be free from sin through Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, when you look in these churches out here, and I'm going to make some clear. The Bible's very big on he that hate his brother is a murderer, right? Mm -hmm. These Baptist churches, Catholic churches, they murderers. Because any time that you willfully spread a lie, knowing that it kills you at the end and burn, make you go straight to hell, you can't tell me that you love your brother. Amen. If your brother's going down the wrong road, oh, sister, won't you warn them and say, don't go down that road, man. Change yourself, man. You will warn you can't even get sleep. But these crooked old folks get sleep killing you, destroying your mind, destroying your soul. Amen. These crooks out here get good sleep, robbing you. Then think about it in their mind how they can rob you even more. Uh, when it, like I put my hand on my right ear one Sunday and grunt. I'm going to put my hand on the left ear. Then I'm going to scream that's a, scream longer than last time. They plan. Amen. Amen. They plan to rob and steal. When I say touch your neighbor, I'm going to tell them to slap their neighbor at the right hand and slap them on the face and say, God will. All this mess they plan it. They plan it out. I say they plan it. They plan it. I'm being honest. They plan this mess. Amen. When they get together with these so-called mission trips, Ty, but we're going to gather in the stadium and praise God. You know it's fake. At the end of the whole service, the first thing they want to say, if y'all don't mind, so to the kingdom. Amen. So to the kingdom, $2,000 each. And you got these deceived brothers and sisters that will give $2,000 to the false prophet. And then now the false prophet buy a yacht and a jet and the mansion. Amen. And then they want to say, God did this. You robbed the people. Amen. Don't put that on God. Amen. You robbed the people. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Notice how when God gave riches unto Solomon, Solomon used those riches to help the people of God. Amen. But notice how these people today, when they get riches from brothers and sisters, they don't give it back to the community. The first thing they do is pocket it. Amen. Crooked old folks. In part, they have exercised. Give chapter and verse, my brother, please. 2 Peter chapter 2, starting at verse 14. 2 Peter chapter 2, starting at verse 14 in the Bible says. In part, they have exercised. In heart, they have exercised. With coveted practices. You hear that? In heart. So this is something that was practiced, premeditated. They sit back and pre The Bible cover everything. <laughs> they premeditate the deceit. They premeditate their lives. Sit back and say, hmm, we need to. Uh, they, you hear the deacons get together with the elders. Uh, we, we lower money this, um, this month. <laughs> Amen. And we lower it out. Normally we make about two million a Sunday. Uh, we made one million. That ain't enough. Just have a revival all week. Church service all week. We got to meet the monthly quota. Of us making two million. I'm letting you know something that I heard. We low on money. Let's make a revival. And then they get up there on the pulpit and lie on God. And say God said we need to have a revival. Just lying on God. Amen. A lion. There's a lion. There's a lion. And then they get on. And then when they get on the pulpit. They will tell you everybody. You know I, I know you speaking in tongues and praising the Lord. If you could just sow a seed. A thousand dollar each, bigger blessing. Five hundred dollars, medium sized blessing. Small blessing, little money. Get twenty dollars. I can like it's a two for one special from Church's Chicken. You come get your combo. Amen. Amen. The seafood workers are they? Why? It's because they desire. It's not for you to be saved. They desire is to take you to hell. Amen. They be back to Romans. Hey, man, this church will tell you everything. I'm going to let you know some things today. 
And give me verse 3 in the Bible says. The Bible says, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness, mm -hmm. going about to establish their own righteousness. Hold it. So them, being ignorant of God's word, premeditated, took it upon them since that I don't know the word of God. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make my own way. That's why you get all these crooked denominations. I don't want to, when the Bible says get the Holy Ghost there, say, I'm going to make me a denomination. I'm going to make me a group of churches where we don't believe in that. <laughs> and we just say, just believe in God and that's it. Because getting the Holy Ghost is too hard and too long. Lazy people. Amen. 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 Like that song, this song earlier, One Way to God. I don't want this crooked way that they throwing out here. This artificial, no good garbage religion. I want the belief that God had it. I want the belief that God had before the earth was. He had the belief in him. Amen. He had that one belief, that one faith that was in him. I want the one belief that Jesus believed. Amen. When he walked this earth. And the Bible says they go about to establish their own righteousness. What? Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. That means they sin us. So therefore, the Bible describing the type of people that Paul was saying, my heart and prayer that they may be saved. And what happened was you got people that did not want to follow the word of God. So they went about to establish their own righteousness. In other words, I'm going to do what I want to do. Amen. I'm going to walk the ways that I want to walk. And just like in the book of the Jeremiah of the prophet, he said they walk after the imagination of their own heart. So they start to walk after the vanity. In other words, the devil will put sin in their heart. And they will walk after the mess, the sin, the gunk that the devil put in their heart. In other words, you will hear churches so people say, ain't nothing wrong with fornication. Ain't nothing, uh, don't get married, just, just shack up. Uh, don't do this, don't do that. Why? Because they walk after the imagination of their own heart. And then they think they so deep they'll get on the internet and say, uh, uh, don't call Jesus' name Jesus. Call him Yeshua. If you call him anything different, you're, you're, you're sinning against the Lord. Liars all day. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, don't call, uh, 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 don't, don't, don't call him that name. You, you gotta call him Yeshua. You just gotta, you gotta call him Yeshua. Let me ask you a question. The Bible says when Jesus Christ came unto Paul, Jesus spoke in a Hebrew tongue. Because Paul said I was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that in word, um, when he studied, he was a Pharisee of Pharisee in the lineage of Benjamin. And when you understand who Paul was, you understand some is that what about unto a Roman man? If a person in Rome, amen, says not Yeshua or a Spanish person don't say Yeshua. They said in their own native language, is he in fault? Because key word, uh, we're going to take it back to Daniel for a minute because I want to take me back to Daniel with the vision when he saw the Son of Man, if you don't mind. I want to throw a curveball at you. Take your time now. Folks, so quick to just jump on, j jump to conclusions. They'll jump to conclusions to establish their own righteousness. And they will jump right out the Bible. They'll jump right out the Bible. Real quick. And when they jump right out the Bible, the first thing they want to do is say, oh, well, I, I, I thought I was right. You, you thought you was. You thought you was walking with God. You thought you were standing with the Lord. Amen. You thought you were serving God. Is that right? You know what I'm talking about? See, that's the type of people we got today. Amen. That's the type of people we have today. We got people that don't want to listen, people that's high-minded, hard-headed, want to go and establish their own righteousness, picking and, and, and picking up and saying, oh, we're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like that. And they jump right out of the Bible. And when they jump right out of the Bible, they put their stuff in the box. They put their self on the, on the list to go to hell. Everything that's pertaining to your salvation, 
everything that's pertaining to you serving God and you walking with the Lord got to be in the Bible. Is that right? It got to be in the Bible. God gave us this Bible for direction. God gave us this Bible for guidance. God gave us this Bible to lead us and to guide us. And if we can't follow what God has given us, then tell me what we're doing. Tell me how we can serve God. Tell me how we can uh, 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 give God our all. Y'all get what I'm saying? Amen. Tell me how we can say that we are followers of Christ if we don't follow the word of God. Tell me what can we do. Y'all get what I'm saying? Amen. Tell me what can we do. If you can't find it, don't worry about it. Tell me what can we do. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Tell me what can we do. <laughs> Caught you lacking, brother John. <laughs> take me back to Rome. Take, take, take me back to Romans ten. We get that scripture another day. <laughs> yeah, amen. Romans ten five, and the Bible says. Romans chapter ten and verse five. What did it say? For Moses describes the righteousness which is of the law. Moses described the righteousness which is of the law. That the man which doeth those things shall live by them. Mm -hmm. But the righteousness which is of faith speaking on this wise. Uh, Say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven. Say not in thy heart who shall descend into heaven. Or who, who shall exalt themselves higher than heaven. That is to bring Christ down from above. That is to bring Christ down from above. To give Christ off his authority. To give Christ, bring Christ down from where he always is. The word of God exalts Christ above everything. Amen. Above a man, above a woman. So say not in your heart. No words, don't have wickedness and pride and arrogance so much in you that you think you're higher than Jesus. Amen. Don't have a, 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 a pride and arrogance so much in you that you think that you're equal with him that you can make your own righteousness. That you can make your own laws. That you can make your own regulations. That, and that's what you see it in the Catholic Church. Where they think they can take away scripture and ask scriptures. What the Bible says. Say not what? The Bible says, say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven. Uh-huh. A, a sin is in heaven. That is to bring Christ down from above. That's what folks do now. I, I want to take this scripture out and add this scripture in. Don't you dare do that. Don't say that in your heart. Don't allow the devil to make you think you better than God. That you move deeper than God. And then the Bible says what? And it says, or who shall descend into the deep? And who shall descend into what? And who shall descend into the deep? That's what folks think they is. They think they're so deep. Think they're so deep. Like his brother was saying when Jesus Christ loved Egypt, he went inside um, the temple of Guru to learn healing. <laughs> think he's so deep. I don't know what Jesus he's talking about. Talk about he learned about he learned the, the, the temple of uh, healing. His brother reading comic books. That ain't Jesus. <laughs> the temple of Google. Now, I never heard that mess. <laughs> Say, saying Jesus learned witchcraft. Think he's so deep. He ain't deep at all. Amen. You get what I'm saying? These folks think they so powerful in the mind and think they so above God. They say anything. Uh, oh, oh, Jesus think this. Uh, oh, 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 Jesus think how he couldn't go to Egypt because if he went to Egypt, that means that this, that, and the third. Shut your mouth, hypocrite. These brother, these so-called Christian scientists don't even know uh, who made the pyramids. And if the pyramids came after Jesus, is to say came after Jesus. If they came after Jesus and you don't know who made them, that means that you don't know what happened to Bible days. And if they came before Jesus and you don't know who made them, you don't know what happened in the Bible days. So don't act like y'all was there walking in the, in the towns, in the places. They, these folks make theories every day. Well, it was like this. And then when they find a new discovery, well, our theory was wrong. <laughs> and these preachers download these crooked sermons from the, these crooked scientists that change theories as they change pants and clothes. And that these preachers so far behind on the downloaded theories that when a new theory come out, they got to get back on the internet and look up another sermon. The Bible says, say not what? The Bible says, say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven. Who shall ascend into heaven. That is to bring Christ down from above. 
you can't do that. Who do you think you are? I don't care if you are a Catholic church. I don't care if you're a Christian scientist. You sit up in here and you say that scripture don't apply today and it's sitting in the New Testament. You a liar. Don't you dare try to bring him down. If Christ ascended on to heaven, uh, into heaven, that means his mission was complete. Amen. 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 Did he not say on the cross that it's finished? Amen. Don't you dare sit up here and say it ain't done. If when Christ said it is finished, I ain't better than I ain't better than God. Amen. It's finished. Amen. 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 I ain't gonna tell God it's not. It's finished. Amen. 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 Think about it when God tell you that it's raining outside, and and then you tell God no, it ain't. Amen. God tell you that it's storming outside. And you tell God, I, I, I feel sunshine in the air. I feel healing in the air. Amen. Tell you right now, I won't be surprised if God throw you in hell. He bind you chain and foot and make you live a misery like they send you straight to hell. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Hallelujah. You know, they said about Judas when he went into the uh, field to hang itself. The Bible said his bowels came out. One of the brothers said it didn't happen. They, 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 that's impossible. Who are you to say it didn't happen? Amen. You don't know. Amen. Is that right? But the natural man. But the natural man what? Receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. A sinner. Receive not the things of the Spirit of God or a spiritual man. For they are foolishness unto him. Amen. These natural brothers and sisters, they be in church for 50 years and they're still natural. Amen. Amen. Baptized in Jesus' name is still natural. Not filled with the Holy Ghost and still natural. Amen. They come to church every day, natural as ever. You got brothers and sisters come to church just to spy women out. They play, I spy with my little eye. And they just look at women and brothers. I say look at both of them. Gay as could be. Amen. They're spying and looking. They're the natural. It takes a real brother with a sincere heart and a willing mind to hear the word of God and then say, Lord, open up my understanding. Amen. That I may hear the word of God and get a understanding. Amen. That, Lord, whatever you tell me to do, I'm not confused. I'm not lost. I'm not at a state where I'm unmovable, Lord. But whatever you want me to do, Lord, do it in me, Lord. Amen. That I may right with you, Lord. That I'm striving to be who you want me to be. Hallelujah. That I want to be who you want me to be. Amen. That I'm not second guessing you. That I'm not fighting you, Lord. That I'm not angry at the things you do, Lord. Amen. Do it in me, Lord. Sometimes you're going to have to be like the other person when Jesus was trying to bring healing. He said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Sometimes you have unbelief in you that God got to come and cut away to make you realize that he is the one that's able to keep you from falling. He is the one that can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ever ask for. You got to look to God when you're in time of trouble, when you feel like no one else could do it. You got to learn how to lead in God. Amen. Amen. You have to learn how to lean on God. I tell you the truth today. If you don't know how to lean on God, you're going to fall away. You got to lean on God. I say you got to lean on God. Amen. And if you don't want to lean on God, you should account the cost. Because you finna get, you finna get embarrassed. Amen. You have to learn how to lean on God. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You got to learn how to lean on God. Amen. You got to learn how to lean on God for everything. Amen. You can't lean on your weak self. Amen. When you get sick, can you lean on yourself? No. When your head hurting, can you lean on yourself? You're leaning on that Benadryl. Amen. You're leaning on painkillers. you going to the ER. You got to learn how to lean on God. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And the Bible says, let's keep going. And the Bible says, uh -huh. it says, which um, it, it talks about the things also we speak. Excuse me. I'm sorry. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. Neither can he know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. Now, when something is spiritually discerned, the spirit of God has to give you understanding of the things that's going on in the spirit. Amen. And if the spirit of God doesn't bring understanding unto the natural man or the man that's seeking information, he ain't understanding nothing. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand. Have you seen a brother? He'll say, uh, 
I pro- or a sister. They'll say, I prophesy such and such and such and such. Raise your hand, you seen that. You know, I want to say this when I'm up here, all right? Two people. This is why I say that. You can't find one scripture in the Bible where a prophet say, I prophesy such and such and such and such. Yeah? Huh? You want to know why I'm saying that? The reason why I'm saying that is because if the Holy Ghost bring utterance unto speaking in tongues, the Holy Ghost is going to bring utterance unto every gift that he gives unto the human family. Amen. 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 He's going to bring utterance to prophecy. Why? It's because it's not your power, but it's the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So you see people will establish their own righteousness. Amen. 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 Establish mess. That's all they do. I prophesy. It's going to be sunny outside. Brother, the sky's already blue. I prophesize it's going to be a great day. Shut your mouth. I prophesize that I, uh, 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 water going to come out of this spigot. Bro, you know that. You, you know you turned that on before you got the people. I prophesize that food going to be in my belly. You smell that cooking from your grandma. When you, pro- listen, listen. If you don't got the gift of prophesying, shut your mouth. Amen. Because if you say you got it and you don't got it, you're lying on the spirit. Amen. Because all prophecy is done by the Holy Ghost. It's a gift of the Holy Ghost. And if you say, I prophesied this, that, and the third, you a liar. Amen. Amen. You a liar. I tell you the truth, you a liar. Was it not Jesus that prophesied? He that believed in is baptized. What? And he that believed it not. And these signs shall follow them. Hold it. He was prophesying unto the future believers. That they shall cast out devils. He said they shall cast out devils. He prophesied it by the spirit of God that was in him. They shall cast out devils. They shall drink deadly poison. He was prophesying. For telling of it that's soon to come by the influence of the Holy Ghost that was in him. Amen. When Jesus prophesied in the book of Matthew 24 and telling about the future, that was by the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Just trying to make some things clear. You got people that will say things that's not according to knowledge, not according to this Bible. You see it a lot in the church of God in Christ. Prophets talk about every now and then. I like the uh, I, I, I prophesy. And every time they prophesy, it's always good. Amen. You shall see blessings by tomorrow. Stop lying. If that brother ain't saved, he going to hell. Uh-uh, you shall see uh, a healing by tomorrow. That brother's a murderer. If you ain't walking the way that God say walk, you're burning in hell. Amen. I'm just being honest with you. You're going to burn in hell. You can say what you want. Some of y'all folks are ministers. And then you preach on a pulpit. When you get to preaching, you will say, I prophesy this. I prophesy that. I prophesy this. I prophesy that. You need to be, you need to be repenting. <laughs> Knowing you was at that girl house last night. Rubbing and congressing her back. Acting like you missed the Bob the Builder trying to fix everything. To get numbers. Fixing lights. Changing light switches. Now you want to say these hands are not just for fixing. It's for work. And you rubbing on her back. Then you get on the pulpit and say, I feel the anointing. You don't feel nothing. You feel the guilt and the conviction of God that's coming upon you. These poor pit freaks. I'm just being honest with you. Nasty as ever. Go to the club and watch women shake their tail. You're doing dollar bills. Then you come to church and say, I feel the anointing. You don't feel nothing. Amen. You don't feel nothing. When I felt some shivering going down my spine, you just feel that cold air vent that's blowing on your neck. You ain't feeling nothing. <laughs> but preacher, my hair is standing up. I just, I, you got some, you got the chills. <laughs> Put a jacket on. Hey, Amen. Put a jacket on, your head gonna, it's gonna go right back down. Hey, Amen. I'm gonna preach it real to you today. When preaching, when I was at church, I felt the touch on my shoulder. That's your left pants leg touching your ankle. You ain't feel no touch. Hey, Amen. 
I say you ain't feel no touch, but pre preacher, it touched, and, and then they, they so filled with the devil, it touched me right here, preacher. It touched me right there. Stop lying on God. Some of y'all brothers come to church high as ever. Eyes red, you didn't feel no touch. You just high. You're high. Hey, Amen. Some of us smoke them black and miles. Eyes all yellow. Then you come to church and say, preacher, I'm just, uh, I, 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 just I, I just felt the need to change. No kidding. Hey, Amen. No kidding. I just felt the need to change because I'm always smoking black and miles. And y'all so hell bound. You think, you think you're slick, but I'm a preacher that is. Yeah, go home and bump your gospel bar in me. And then on your way to church, you change it. Soon, five, five, three minutes away from church, you change the gospel. Then you walk inside a church and they say, I'm coming to get my praise on. Stop lying on God. For the Bible say they have a zeal and what? The scripture says, I have a very they have a zeal of God. But not according to knowledge. Not according to knowledge of what they've done. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness. Paul's saying they know nothing of God's righteousness. Or but, but going about to establish their own righteousness. Yeah, I, hold it. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Something that's done on my mind. I want to deal with these so-called church mothers. You see, you go to church and they say, oh, I'm a church mother. I, I, I'm the mother of the church. What? I'm the mother of the church. I, I'm, I'm the church mother. We had it like this for thousands of years. Just because something happened for thousands of years don't mean it's right. Amen. There's no office of ministry for a church mother. First Timothy 5. I'm going to lay it out with scripture. These so-called church mothers come with big hats, got attitudes, want to preach, want to be the first one to lay hands on people, want to sing in the church. Sit down and behave yourself seemly. Amen. The Bible says that all things be done in decency and in order. That means older women and younger women and older men and younger men. I'm a church mother. I'm the mother of the church. And they will go to a false church just to get that title. You nothing but the devil. Amen. Amen. These are, I want to be real. A lot of these older folks behave worse than these younger folks. Amen. It's worse. Amen. Don't listen. Hard-headed. Say, I'm not, I've been going to church for 30 years. I don't care one bit. And hell been open for thousands of years. Amen. And I tell you the truth. If you don't get yourself lined up with that Bible, you're going to burn. Amen. Don't get on mad at me one bit. I've been saved for 30. I don't, I don't care. Amen. Flesh is as grass. Amen. But the word of God will remain forever. No matter how you see it. Your flesh may be 30 years old, but it's fading away. And the heaven ain't going nowhere yet. But hell is open for all those that's disobedient. Now, I want you to follow me in the Bible. Amen. Those that's listening to this podcast, I want you to go ask that your grandmama, your mama, Yo, auntie, I want you to go to 1 Timothy chapter 5. You're going to see it inside of the church. They're going to say, I'm the church mother. And they're going to act like they're so anointed. You see what I'm saying? They're going to say, I'm anointed. They're going to want to pray the loudest. They're going to want to talk the loudest. And then when, it, when the music is the plan, when it's a song they like, they want to speak in tongues, get into a fake anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This fake as ever. But they gossip it. They gossipers. They slanderers. They're liars. They backbiters. They adulterers. They fornicators. They ain't baptized in Jesus' name. And they speak in the fake tongue. Amen. 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 And the Bible says, Rebuke not an elder. Rebuke not an elder. But and treat them as a father. Amen. And a younger man. Brethren. The elder, the elder man, as a father, hold it. Now, I heard one pastor that said that woman could be elder. That's a lie, because it said rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a what? As a father. As a father. <laughs> now, when the Bible said, when the Bible said a woman can't be no father. Now, when the Bible says rebuke not an elder, it's not saying you can correct them in doctrine. No, it's saying treat him. 
Don't reject him or slander him, but treat him as what? As a father. As a father, and? And the younger men as brethren. The younger men as brethren. That's why when you go to younger men, you say, how you doing, brother so-and-so? Amen. Amen. And sometimes y'all say brother so-and-so, but you don't treat them as brethren. Stop being a hypocrite. Treat them as a brother. Amen. You may love them from a distance, but treat them as a brother. And the Bible says, the elder women as mothers. No, no, uh, 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 that's an office of ministry. The elder women as mothers. Amen. The elder women as mothers. What? The younger, the younger as sisters. So that means the elder woman as mothers. The younger woman as sisters. Raise your hand. Have you heard of a first lady in the church? Embarrassing. <laughs> Amen. You go to a church, you say, I'm first lady. They got a picture of husband and wife holding hand to the side, posing. Nothing but the devil. It, there is no church. When Jesus Christ said, upon this rock, I built my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. It was nothing but his word. Amen. There is no first lady in God's church. Amen. That was a title that was made up by a man. Now, when the Bible says they go about establishing their own righteousness, they saw the Bible and said, I can't do it. Amen. So I'm going to open up my office for my rude wife to be our first lady. Amen. And then the rude mother-in-law. I'm going to make her a church mother. Amen. Amen. Give me Titus 2, 3. The Bible says. The Bible says in Titus 2, 3, the aged women likewise. The aged women. Hold it. These are the women you treat as mothers. The aged women likewise. What? That they be in behavior. Hold it. You don't see a lot of church women be like that. Now, when the Bible says aged woman be in behavior, their behavior has to reflect the apostles' doctrine. Amen. And if it don't reflect the apostles' doctrine, they can't do this. Amen. They can't teach. Amen. And if they try to teach when they don't know the apostle doctrine, they're not qualified. Amen. Amen. Just like God fired King Saul for disobedience, he will quickly fire a woman too. Amen. It's quiet up in here. I'm going to preach it just like God wanted to be preached. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says? It says the aged women likewise that they be in behavior. They ain't gossiping, backbiting. You see the church women now, you make them mad enough, they cuss you out. Amen. And then they want to call on the Lord and say, let me put my religion down. <laughs> and get that cussing. You a hypocrite. Amen. And you're on your way to hell. Amen. You a hypocrite. Amen. Hey, man, you think you can put your religion down like that, like it's a passport? I'm letting you know right now, it's time to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It's time for you to repent of your sins, and it's time for you to step down from Deacon Hickam Bottom Church. Amen. Tell them you're not no church mother. Amen. Tell them I'm not no church mother. Say, treat me as a mother, but I give that position back on to you. Amen. Hey, man, the devil will get you gl glitz and glamour to have your soul. You got to learn how to throw it back at them and say, you ain't having it. Amen. 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 The Bible says. It says that, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. What? As becoming holiness. What? Not false accusers. Hold it. As becoming holiness. In other words, the apostle doctrine. If they not in this doctrine, I'll tell you the truth. They ain't, hallelujah, Jesus, they can't do this. If age woman gonna teach the younger woman, they gotta be in that apostle doctrine. Amen. Amen. These age women want to teach their younger kids how to twerk. This how you twerk. This how you get a man. You wanna you wanna show a little skin. You nothing but the devil. Age woman wanna allow their daughters to go to prom. Sometimes the parents may die, and the grandmother. Or take care of the kid. Then say, you can go to prom. You nothing but the devil. Amen. Amen. Well, ain't nothing wrong with the prom. Ain't, when you go to prom, they play rap songs, don't it? Amen. That ain't spiritual songs. Amen. They listen to Megan Thee Stallion. Amen. They listen to Cardi B. Amen. 
and then they want to twerk on each other. You can have girls twerking on girls, and then you want to say that's holiness? There ain't no holiness. That's nothing but the devil. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. That's nothing but the devil. Amen. Amen. Let your children go to proms. And then you want to say, uh, uh, ain't nothing wrong with my granddaughter. She can spend a night over her boyfriend's house. Amen. I'll let you know right now you a failure as a grandmother. Amen. If it's not God's way, it ain't right. Amen. Mm-hmm. I had to drink a little water for a minute. Amen. Yes. I'm going to preach it as is. All right. See, when you sit to preach, you're going to say it as is. <laughs> my goal is for you to be saved. Amen. Amen. So you could get to heaven. And it makes no sense that you got people that say ain't nothing wrong with it. You too harsh. And nowadays, these grandmamas be smoking weed with their granddaughters. Amen. Smoking weed with them and say, you like that blunt? This is weed hidden. This is lying. <laughs> Fear with the devil. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Keep reading. And it says that not given to much wine. Not given to much wine. Teachers of good things. Teaches of good things. Some I, I, it needs to be some good things, mm-hmm. things that's beneficial unto that young lady. Amen. I'm gonna teach you how to cook. Amen. I'm gonna teach you how to clean the house. Amen. I'm gonna teach you how uh, 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 to help your man when he's at a point of standstill. Amen. I'm gonna teach you how to pray Amen. when you're stuck. When your man or your marriage is stuck in a bond, pray. Amen. You need some good teacher. Teaching that's made to build the young woman up Amen. so she'll be able to teach the next generation. Amen. We need some good doctrine. Amen. Amen. Keep going. It says that they may teach the young women to be sober. Sober. To love their husbands. Amen. These women love getting drunk. <laughs> to love their children. Love getting drunk. Love drinking that Hennessy. Love drinking that pink whipped in their burp and they love getting drunk. They ain't drinking with them. They ain't going to say, granddaughter, you 21, you take shots. Mm-hmm. No, nah, ain't doing that. Amen. This woman that's teaching got to be holy Amen. to love their husbands. In other words, I, you got to love them as what the Bible says you got to love them as. They're going to refer back to the word of God to teach them. Amen. Amen. Now, listen to the qualifications that God has given unto the church, unto the young woman, the instructions, unto the older woman teaching the young woman. Now, you got these women preachers that will teach everything else when the Bible said they should teach. <laughs> they want to grab their ear like the, like the false prophets. They want to run the church like the false prophets. They want to act like they're so anointed. You're nothing but the devil. Nothing but the devil. Amen. I got two more scriptures and I'm going to sit on down. The Bible says there's one faith. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. And the Bible says, uh huh, verse four. There is one body. There is one body. And one spirit. Ephesians four and four. The Bible said there's one what? One body. One body. Ain't two. That's one body. And the key to get in this one body is you're following the word of God. There is one body. Hold it. You go to a Baptist church, you're not in that one body. You go to church of God in Christ. When they play that fake demonic shout music, y'all said it. That demonic is, is programming. When they walk down that scale and everybody get to kicking their feet, hallelujah, Jesus, nothing but the devil. And then they want to mix jazz chords with, with the shout music. And then it sound like Michael Jackson, smooth criminal, and you're rocking and junking. Amen. Hey, man, where that preacher name? Paul Moore. Singing, let it rain. And then the, and he going to say, be quiet and let the music play. And that white young man was playing that guitar. See, when you of the world, you know what that was. That was uh, Prince Purple Rain. <laughs> and then he yelling, everybody acting like they're in the spirit. Cut it out. Amen. That ain't no spiritual song. We have no fellowship. God say no. No fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Amen. God wants you to be fruitful in him. Not in the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you sing a gospel song, you don't supposed to think about no R&B song. Just like Mary Mary. 
you hear that music, and all of a sudden, you're thinking of cheating on your husband, cheating on your wife, choking somebody, getting in the mood with your neighbor. There ain't no gossip music. Listen to that Kurt Franklin. Joking and shaking. Amen. Running on the stage and wearing tight clothing. Wearing makeup. And then you want to say, uh, 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 Kurt Franklin, uh, uh, the Bible said, be all things to all men. For Paul, the Apostle Paul to give that scripture, he had to get it from Jesus. And if he had to get it from Jesus, I want you to find me one scripture that Jesus compromised his foundation to a peace sinners. Can't find it. Amen. Listen to Ty Trivet. That song, Victory, was a disgrace. Talking about we got victory and you joking and shaking and doing cartwheels and tap dancing on stage. And then say you got the victory, you don't got nothing. Just lying to people. Amen. Amen. I'm going to preach like an old day preacher. And I ain't moving when I'm saying. Amen. I'm not going to move. By God's permission, I'm not going to move. I'm going to stay right here. Amen. It got to be. The Bible said that's one what? The Bible says that's one body. That's one body. And one spirit. One spirit. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling. Amen. One hope. And that hope is the word of God. Keep going. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. One faith. One baptism. Amen. One God. Stop right there. That's one faith. And if you're not in that one faith, you're going to burn for eternity. That's one faith <laughs> is in this Bible. Amen. I say that's one faith Amen. and it's in this Bible. Amen. You can go to your Baptist church all you want and he'll tell you just believe in God. And you got the Holy Ghost. When you open up your Bible and you find one Peter says repent ye therefore and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ and ye shall receive the what? The gift of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the Holy Ghost. So that means that's something you gotta get. Amen. Amen. When you see when Paul said have you received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Since he believed and they said we never even heard of the Holy Ghost. But before that, there was John the Baptist disciples. So they believed on the one to come and they believed in the word of God. Amen. Amen. They believed in it, but it was still something that had to be, they be given. Even the apostles had to tarry in Jerusalem under the Holy Ghost filling. And I dare you to tell me that they, they didn't believe. Amen. I dare you to say it. You can say it one bit. You think Jesus would allow that? Jesus ain't going to allow them not to believe in God, what he say, sit around him. And it's going to be something that's not going to be allowed. It was time where the Pharisees was thinking things in their mind, and Jesus knew what they were thinking about a spirit. He ain't going to allow that. Amen. Amen. It got to be exactly what God said it got to be. And if it's not like that, you're going to burn. Because the Bible says it's one faith, and this faith is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's one faith. That one faith consists of baptisms. That's a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ done by water. And that's a baptism of fire that's done by Jesus himself. It has to be God. You gotta be baptized with fire. Amen. You gotta be baptized with fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It gotta fill you. And if it don't fill you, you're not getting in heaven. Amen. It has to fill you. God is to be received and God to be tangible, but you gotta open yourself up to receive them. So you better get out your Baptist church, Amen. get out your church of God at Christ Church, get out your church of Nazarene, walk up out of there, <laughs> walk out, get out your church of, of Solomon, get out your Catholic church where your priest dressing green and lift his hands up and say, Walk on my people. Amen. This ain't no coat, Amen. This ain't no grand arising. Walk out of there. And make your way to God and call out his name. Amen. amen. For the Bible says he has a name above all names. That at the mention, amen, of his name, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess amen. that he is Lord. Amen. Walk out this Catholic church. Preachers hide inside booths and you tell them your secrets. And he hear you and get the giggling. One thing about the devil, when he find that you're growing up, he uses it. Amen. That's why priests sleep with a lot of people finding out they secrets, and he just take advantage of it. It's time for you to find your way to this doctrine. Amen. 
every last of you find your way to this doctrine. There's many churches, many of them, Catholic, around the corner, Baptist, Church and God in Christ, that don't baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. They baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The Bible didn't say that. The Bible didn't say that. It says in the name. Amen. You got to mention that name. You don't mention that name, you ain't doing it right. Amen. Mention the name. Why are you so scared to mention it? But I see in this scripture, stop being basic. If God made you a preacher, and you got the understanding of the Godhead. You got the understanding that in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Then you need to get yourself up and do it the right way. Do it the right way. Let all things be done in decency and in order. And for it to be decency and in order, got to line up with the word. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I know we tied up in here. I know. We tied. That's one faith. That's one baptism. Amen. That's one Lord. Y'all called by one hope, and that hope is in the word of God. Y'all hear what I'm telling you? I'm tired. I'm tired. You know, uh, they speak about this church. They will fight this church hard, very hard. Don't want people to hear the right way. Don't want people to turn from their sins. He want people to stand in a mess, go to hell. The devil wants that. And these false prophets want it too. You know, um, you even see it in church when a the church would say, founder Hickenbotham, founder Johnson. We know founder, Amen. like this church right here. I'm not the founder of this church. God the founder. Amen. Amen. God the founder. I don't know. You know, I really try to give respect and reference unto me. I, I need respect, for. I don't need you to be put me on no sign. I just want God will be done because if I fall, God going to rise another one up. Amen. He going he gonna to rise another one up. I don't need the respect to be on the sign. If I fall, Lord, I just pray you rise someone that's strong and that's strict on the Bible. Amen. That's what I pray you rise up. You know, as I still sit down, I'll give a testimony. And then we're going to close our service. You know, I say this right now. My testimony is, is that us, when we was getting this church together and building, the devil was fighting hard. I mean hard. It was fighting so hard to the point where it just, it felt unreal. Amen. People was talking. You can't do this. You can't do that. Amen. You can't do this. Can't do that. They were saying things that was not according to the word of God, not according to, to knowledge. Oh, if you do this, you're going to die this. You're going to die spiritually. You're going to do this. going to happen to you. That going to happen to you. Uh, 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 you can't do this. You're going to find yourself lost. You're going to find yourself punished for God. They didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> they didn't know nothing what they were talking about. Amen. And it irked my nerves because I, I just be, sometimes I just be minding my own business and then trouble come. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then when it comes, I'm like, man, you know, why, why they say this? Why do they say that? But when I got to a point where I start to learn, see, God is a teacher. Holy Ghost is a teacher. Yes. He will teach you. And when I got to the point when I realized something, that family will come against you. Mm -hmm. And a lot of your family members are filled with the devil. Amen. I say they are they filled with the devil. Mm -hmm. Ain't baptized in Jesus' name. Don't got no Holy Ghost. Ain't washing no blood. Don't got, they ain't do nothing. For 30 years have done nothing to get right with God. You go to your church, see your first lady sitting down. See, people say, I got no problem with no first lady. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, it, it, it's fine. Okay. Do God got a problem with it? Because I don't find first lady in the Bible. The first lady that we all know is Eve. That's the first lady. You don't find her in the Bible. You don't find church mother in the Bible. We don't have the power to add things in the church like God can. God can add things in the church and take away things. I don't got that power in me. Is that right? You don't got that power to do that. God made the church perfect. Don't you add or take away. Leave it alone. Amen. Leave it alone. Amen. All right. And the Bible and the Bible says in Acts 2 to your, um, 238. And Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Uh-huh. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you. Uh-huh. And to your children. And it's to all those that are far off, as many as the Lord our God shall call. Uh-huh. And the scripture goes on to say it with me. 
Because by that exhort, then Peter said what? Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then he said, save yourself from this untoward generation. Amen. Save yourself. Save it from the Catholic Church. Save it from the Baptist Church. Save yourself from the Church of God in Christ. Save yourself from being a Muslim. Amen. Save yourself from being a Jehovah Witness. Amen. Save yourself from being a Shiva follower of Hinduism. Save yourself and be baptized, every one of you, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Ghost and turn from your wicked ways. Amen. It's time to make the false church go bankrupt. Amen. It's time to close down shop. Amen. Amen. It's time to make them close down shop. Amen. The Catholic Church got to shut down. The Methodist Church got to shut down. <laughs> Jehovah Witness got to shut down. <laughs> Muslims got to shut down. Every church that don't stand on God's law got to shut down. Amen. God's going to make an end. Amen. He's going to make an end. Hallelujah. And when God make an end, he's going to make an end with the sword of his mouth. Hallelujah. That's going to be slicing and dicing. Amen. That's going to be destroying. God's going to come like a flood yes. and nothing they going to do to stop it. Hallelujah. It's time to save yourself Amen. from this crooked generation. Amen. Mothers turn against daughters. Amen. Sons turn against fathers. Amen. Why? It's because they're trying to save themselves. They're trying to save themselves to go up with God. They're going to fight. You're going to yell. They're going to come against you. Amen. But I want you to remember what Peter said. Amen. Peter said, save yourself Amen. from this untold generation. Amen. Your mother going to come against Amen. you. Amen. Your dad going to talk about Amen. you. But save yourself. Amen. And when God saved you, the Amen. Bible says, then God added unto the church. Amen. Daily as such, hallelujah, Jesus. And the Bible says 3,000 souls was added. 3,000 saved themselves. Amen. They was running from the false way. Hallelujah. They was running out of the synagogues. Hallelujah. They was running to get baptized hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah. for the remission of sins. Hallelujah. And then they waited in terror to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Then the Bible said they break bread and fellowship Hallelujah. house to house. Hallelujah. In other words, I'm going to take the doctrine Hallelujah. into my house Hallelujah. and I'm going to remember the doctrine Hallelujah. and I'm going to stay steadfastly. Hallelujah. Then the Bible said they Hallelujah. sold their possessions Hallelujah. and gave them to the poor. In other words, I'm going to sell this Hallelujah. to help my brother. Hallelujah. I'm going to sell this Hallelujah. to help my sister. Hallelujah. Save yourself. Hallelujah, Jesus. From this crooked generation. Hallelujah. Get the people to come out the Catholics. Hallelujah. Get the people to come out the Methodists. Hallelujah. Get the people to come out of Church of God of Christ Hallelujah. and help them to fall on their knees Hallelujah. and proclaim the name Jesus Hallelujah. and say, for Jesus I die. Hallelujah. For Jesus I live. Hallelujah. For Jesus I stand on. Hallelujah. As for me and my house, Hallelujah. we going to serve the Lord Hallelujah. and we're going to continue steadfastly Hallelujah. in the apostle doctrine. Breaking the bread and the fellowship. It's time to save yourself. Start, hallelujah, Jesus. God is recruiting for the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God come in power. God's going to come in with the Holy Ghost. Snatch it out of the churches. Snatch it out of the houses. And recruiting them in. For we all, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, Jesus. I thank the Lord right now. Because you got to save yourself. I thank God for allowing me to be saved. Because I was once lost. And God turned me around to be saved. And I realized that the only way is the name of Jesus. That every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. It was not done by my power. It was not done by my might. But it was about the Holy Ghost. That pulled me out of darkness Hallelujah. and led me to the marvelous light of God. Save yourself. Hallelujah. I say save yourself. Hallelujah. Put down the video games. Hallelujah. Put down the TV. Hallelujah. Put down the anime shows. And save yourself. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, here I am, Lord. Whatever you want me to do. Whatever you need me to do. Hallelujah. Save me, Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to be like the eunuch. What permitted me down that I cannot be baptized? Then the Bible said, Philip said, get in the water. 
And when he got in the water, he baptized them in the name of the Lord. And as he baptized them in the name of the Lord, when he came out of the water, God moved. Why? It's because God is in a saving business. God is recruiting people to get saved. Baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is recruiting. He's trying to save people. God is recruiting by the thousands. God is recruiting by the millions. It was a story that there was war overseas and people wanted to get baptized. So there was bombing overseas and there was craters in the ground where there was bombing and God allowed it to rain. And when God allowed it to rain, the people wanted to get baptized and the prison said, you know what? It hadn't rained for a minute. You know what? I found the place. When they was bombing, God was filling them with water. And they got baptized in the bomb craters. They got baptized in the bunker. They didn't say it was dirty water. They didn't say it was messed up. They didn't say, I'm not getting in there. But they got in the water and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And God started filling with the Holy Ghost. He started filling young children. He stopped filling old men. He stopped filling young men and setting them apart and said, I got to save you. I keep you away from the pollution of the world so I can keep you saved. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's time for you to save yourself. You got to save yourself. See, I, I want to say this. A lot of folks going to hear this doctrine and run. Uh, it, it don't matter what me one bit. You going to run. But I'm telling you that God is saying save yourself. God said there shall be wars and ruminant wars, mm -hmm. pestilence and sickness. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you to save yourself. Yes. Get up and run to the Lord. Amen. It's time to run to the Lord. Yes. It's time to run to the Lord. Yes. Daddy's got to run. Mother got to run to the Lord. Yes. Sister's got to run to the Lord. You got to run to the Lord because Lord is your hiding place. Yes. He's your refuge. Yes. He's your guide. He's your keeper. And the Bible said he's the author and the fellowship of your faith. And if he was the author, it don't mean that he had to write it. But he means he was behind the writing. He's the illustrator. He put things detail by detail, precept by precept, line by line, so you can save yourself. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet so we can close on out.